Sailor Moon collectibles news and reviews. And other things sometimes. Look at this awesome postcard from the 90s. This came along with it. It has really nice writing on the back, but that's for me to know and you did not find out. This is all birthday gifts, you guys. Hey guys, it's Age, and today I am unboxing a, uh, not a Sailor Moon thing. Well, no, I am unboxed. I'm gonna show you. This is the Village Vanguard um, bag that was released, and I'm gonna be unboxing this Magic Knight Ray Earth Umi figure. And uh, real quick, I wanna show you this wonderful tote bag. Um, it's from Village Vanguard, which is a store in Japan. How do I open this? All right, so this is the tote bag. We're gonna open it up as soon as I figure out. Aha! Here we go. This is one of the new 2015 Village Vanguard Sailor Moon things. Ooh, it's, it's big. Yay! <laughs> Check that out, guys. I'm gonna lay it flat in a moment so you can take a good look at it. Up ah. says Sailor Moon. A bunch of uh, Japanese writing there. Wish I could read it, but I can't. So of course for now it's gonna be wrinkly because it's brand new. But this is super cool. Um, if you could find it anywhere, mm, this is the type of stuff. Um, my friend sent this through Anime Osaka. Um, so if you can find a deputy service, I guess that's the best way of getting this. I don't really know what websites have it, but it's really cool, really nice 2015 merchandise. It's a really cute tote bag. I'm totally going to use this. Okay, so now we're going to open the Magic Knight Ray Earth Umi figurine. We're going to take a look at the box. This is Umi and she is gorgeous. Because everything that I love is hitting the 20th anniversary mark. Um, so Magic Knight Ray Earth, man, that's one of my other uh, top anime. So yeah, these are just the details on the box. Top just says, uh, I don't fucking know what that says. Volume 1. Um, and Sailor Moon has the Toei stickers. Magic Knight Ray Earth has these Kodansha stickers. It says 2014. Was this released in 2014? I thought this was 2015. Ah, well. So we shall now continue with the unboxing. We have our handy dandy, what is it? Box cutter. Because scissors, eh, not always useful. So we're going to. This one I'm opening from the top because this is a gift. So I am not going to be reselling this in the future. Very carefully cut that tape. This is my life opening boxes. Although I'm really happy to open this because this is a birthday gift. Birthday. All right, so inside, this is how it comes. We're gonna focus here. Bubble wrap, lots of it. So we're just gonna I guess pull this out. Okay. Um, looks like that's the head, I think. And then more is uh, presumably the sword would be in here, I think. Not 100% sure. And this is definitely the stand, so. Oh yeah, wow. That is really detailed. My word. Look at the detailing on that. That is phenomenal. If only they had weapons in Sailor Moon. I mean like real weapons, not magic wands. Because this thing is boss. Take it out of the packaging. Scissor me timbers. Wow. This is really cool. Oh. Oh, she's all pre-put together. That's perfect. God, she's so pretty. E. Umi's hair, looking like Medusa. She has some wrapping on the uh, hand. 
Whoop. I'm remove that. And I'm going to hand you your sword. Maybe this comes apart. Yep. Haha. -ha. I want you to take a good look at what I'm doing here. Sword is in two pieces, so we got to get it into Umi's hand. Come here, Umi. Come here. Let's get this in there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just get in there. Just go inside. Oh, there it goes. Then we put the sword together. This is very funky. It's actually quite ingenious, though. Other figures I've had to, like, pry their fingers apart and get it in. Look at that. Bam! Bam! Omi's got her sword. She is amazing. So let's put her on her stand. I thought there was going to be like a stick or something that would hold her waist or some crap. This is much better actually. Oh my god, look at that. I'm going to show you in detail in a moment. I'm just going to show you how to put this in here. Base is pretty cool. Oh, it's an interesting symbol. I had to reread the manga of Magic Knight right here. And her foot just goes right in there. Holy crap. Look at that. Bam. in detail in a moment. This is gorgeous. Now we need the whole collection. I'm going to come in from above so you can see her hair flying out. So awesome. The details on this thing are amazing. I want the Sailor Moon figurines to be as detailed because holy crap. And I'm going to show you she has like a petticoat under her skirt which is amazing. Sorry guys, no penny shots here. She's so pretty. I love the action. Some people said the hair looked like Medusa. And I don't disagree, but I think, let me move this plastic. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Because this character is just so badass anyway. My favorite Magic Knight Ray with character is Fu, actually. But this figurine, to me, is much nicer than the Fu one. But now that I have this, <laughs> I think I'm totally getting that Fu figurine. And Hikaru is coming out soon, too. My god. I want the Sailor Moon stuff to look like this for realsies. See the hair? Little Medusa, -y. but I mean, when you're, it's clamp style. Clamp style always has lots of movement, and lots of lines for the hair, and the hair kind of goes everywhere. At least in the art. Oh my gosh! So that's my unboxing for uh, this Umi figure, who is to die for. Absolutely to die for. Um, if you have any questions, you know. Uh, comments are right down below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll be here with a Sailor Moon Crystal review on Saturday. Peace.